Question 10. Work out 2.5 divided by 3 and a quarter. Give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form, 4 marks. So the thing about this question is there's no problem solving to it. It is just, do you have the mathematical toolkit? Have you got the basic skills? And there's four marks for it. If you've got them, there's no problem solving. You should be able to just breeze through this every single time. If you don't have them, it will be very apparent. Two and a half divided by three and a quarter. So what I would do with this is I would turn them into improper fractions. So two and a half divided by three and a quarter. I'm just going to rewrite that out. Two and a half divided by three and a quarter. So if I write this as an improper fraction, two and a half is the same as, well, how many halves? Well, in two holes, there are four halves, and I've got another half there. So that's the same as five halves. And I'm going to be dividing that by how many quarters? Well, in three holes there are 12 quarters, plus one more, 13 quarters. And you get a mark for that bit. Being able to work to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions and back if you need to. Okay, so you need that skill. If you don't have it, go on to Hegarty Maths, work on improper fractions to mix numbers and mix numbers to improper fractions, converting between them. It'll be in the number bit under fractions. So once I've got this bit, I just need to remember that if when I'm dividing fractions, I can I can use the multiplicative inverse, which is where I turn this one upside down and turn it into a multiplication. So that is the same as 5 over 2 times by 4 over 13. And now I just multiply that out. So that is the same as 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 13 is 26. 20 out of 26, but I can't finish that there because it says in its simplest form, and I can simplify this. What goes into both of these? Well, uh, they're both even, so I can see that 2 goes in, so I'm going to start by dividing them both by 2 and see where it gets me. That gets me to 10 out of 13, so if I divided them both by 2. And can I simplify that any further? No, I can't. So there's my answer, 10 out of 13. A very nice four marks with no problem solving as long as you've got your basic skills.